All right, what's happening, folks? I'm at a college campus today. We're talking security. I have a really cool idea I wanted to present to you, but first off, hey, how about college? Places where you can spend tens of thousands of dollars going deeply into debt so you can forget which bathroom you're supposed to use and hate capitalism forever, but we're not here to talk about my irritations with the failings of higher education and academia. We're talking about some type of way that we can help mitigate active shooter whack jobs and just in general violent threats. Uh, Warrior Poets, we are very invested in loving people, protecting people, safeguarding life, living for truth, higher purpose, all that stuff. And so our brains are always kind of thinking to that end. How can we protect life? And so one thing that I do everywhere I go, I'm usually rocking and rolling a backpack. Sometimes I leave it in my truck, it's true. But anyway, something like this. This isn't my backpack I'm normally carrying. It's a really cool one sent to us by Big Daddy Unlimited. Thanks guys, it's cool dark camo and it's got an armor panel in it by Premier Body Armor. I've been carrying these around for a, a probably two years now. Even when I get on an airplane, I go through TSA with this stuff. It is extremely light. It's level 3A protection. And as I'm walking around this university campus, not looking like a college student at all, I presume, they're like, Who who's the creepy old guy? And it's like, hey man, I'm making your non-safe space a very safe space right now. Because I worry, what if someone went just all Virginia Tech on this place? Are these people, are these people armed? Are they ready to, to protect life? And I don't think so. Uh, so if something went down, God forbid, what's the answer to that? Right now there's a great answer to it. I am that answer because they're all very safe in this moment right now. Just kidding, not really kidding, hashtag not kidding at all. But <laughs> that's the only safe space is when you're rocking and rolling, carrying guns. And so though I don't think I can get everybody to carry guns and how inappropriate for your lower school or middle school or to be rolling, uh, dirty to their campuses. What we can do is just fill backpacks with armor panels. That's one way that we could keep people safe. I, I just picture like a bunch of students huddled in a corner and they barricaded the door. And what if they were able to put a backpack in front of them to absorb uh, rounds? Everywhere I go, I've got these backpacks on me and I just think they're a great idea. I've got my wife carrying them around as well. It's just simple protection. So anyway, what I wanted to do is take us to the range, shoot them some because shooting's fun. We'll talk a little bit more about the specifications and whatnot, but I wanted to present it to you as a good idea is in places where you can't carry, at least you can have a ballistic shield with you everywhere you go. All right, folks, I'm at Governor's Gun Club in Kennesaw, Georgia. They were nice enough to allow me to shoot things. I have our ballistic panel and the bag. We're going to be hanging it down on my good buddy, Ahmed, who has died a thousand deaths for the benefit of myself and the internet. We've got a uh, slew of calibers laid out, nine millimeters coming at it. Then we'll hit it with a plus P nine mil. Then we're going to hit it with a 40 cal and then the Chris Vector 45 because why not? Sounds awesome. First off, some general stuff about the panel. It's a quarter inch thick, so pretty cool. Very lightweight, so lightweight even Evan can carry it. Look at that, Evan. Boom, Evan. You always love that joke. That's a, it's a good joke, nailed the joke. Anyway, uh, it'll defeat 9mm, 40, 45, 44, uh, shotgun slugs, which is awesome, and buckshot. The only thing it's not going to be able to stop, obviously, is going to be screaming fast rifle rounds. So once you get around 1,500 feet per second, you got a deer rifle or anything like that, it's going to tear right through it. As soon as we shoot with all this, we're going to go ahead and destroy it with a carbine. So there's 5.56. Five, we like destroying stuff. Some of you guys are going to, that'll resonate with you. Made in the USA, fully concealable, which is a silly thing to put because everything's concealable when you put it in a bag. Um, let's see, TSA approved, cool, and man, yeah, there you go. Let me go ahead and show you my setup. Uh, I carry this bag around everywhere I go, not everywhere, but generally, it's, it's not ever far. So this is my ready pack, and in the back here, I can go ahead and zip this out. I have a human shield with me. I always have these things when I'm not stepping on airplanes, and on the side right here, you'll notice there is my armor panel. 
NIJ ballistic tested up to level 3A. Pretty darn cool. That's all of these. Guys, if you're interested in this stuff, Shop Warrior Poet website where we have the bags and the panels. The panels are fit to the bag. So anyway, uh, you don't want to put it in there. It's sagging all around where you lose a lot of your protection. Flush is better, but you could just stick it in anything if you wanted to. Anyway, that's how I roll. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hang this on Ahmed and see what damage we can do. Ahmed is not going to die today, so he's super psyched about that. And uh, let's go ahead and get this set up. All right, folks, for the purpose of expediency, you got things to do with your life. I respect that. I'm going to shoot all of it at once. So I'm going to start here with our nine, then my defensive round 40, 45, and then we're going to be rolling with a 5.56 down here, and we'll check the carnage at the end, right? I'm trying to be respectful. Here we go. All right, range hot. It's just normal nine mil rounds. Groovy. Plus P, defensive round. Groovy. Forty cal. And this fun thing. And the last of it, this is going to go through. All right, let's see how we did. All right. All right, so our first shot right here, this is nine mil, then our defensive round nine mil, 40 cal, 45, I can feel the entire bullet intact right there and there. We flip it over, there is no pass through, and that 5.56 went straight on through. Tiny little hole, but yeah, these are not built for rifles, obviously. You shoot it with a deer rifle, it's going through. So anyway, for almost all the threats that you're gonna be encountered with, almost all the violent encounters, bad dudes shooting good dudes, it's always pistol. I think in the US, less than 300 deaths resulted, homicide deaths resulted from long gun. So anyway, pretty good hedge. So uh, there we go. I think we should destroy this more. What do y'all think? Woo! All right, we're going to shoot it more. So yeah, we had some pass-throughs on that. Pretty darn fun, guys. Make sure you check out the link down below if you're interested in being a little bit safer, protecting your kids, your family when they're out and about. Good job, guys. Somebody say something inspiring to close Train out. hard. What? Line? Whatever.